Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com and in this video we look at how to correctly format mail merge fields coming from your Excel spreadsheets into your Word mail merge and we're going to look at three classic problem fields which are dates, times and then we're going for currency, some other kind of numeric field. And I've got a spreadsheet on front of me at the moment, which is a list of pretend delegates for some courses, where our Word document's going to be um, like a course kind of instruction, kind of leaflet to confirm booking and have various information. But these are the three columns of interest to us. We've got date fields, time fields, and uh, currency fields. And we can see at the moment they are formatted absolutely correctly in Excel. Here's our date fields. UK date form of days, months, and years, our time fields, and then we've got in sterling term a currency or an accounting figure. So let's switch to the Word document where the mail merge fields have already been inserted in preparation for this video, with the exception of the free in question. I wanted you to see me insert this so that you're aware that it's just a, a common problem if you've just experience this yourself or you're learning this afresh and have no knowledge of it. So first of all I'm going to insert the date field on here. That's a date one. We'll start at this will be a time field. And then the course is a price field. So there's the three mail merge fields looking absolutely fine. And I'll click on the preview results button to see what we get. And this is what we have. Oh, we seem to have the time in twice there for some reason. Let's take that out. Okay. So here we go. We have uh, the date field, which has come across here in an American form. I've got the 11 slash 17, whereas on a spreadsheet, it was in a UK format. So that's come across incorrectly. The time. Now, in my spreadsheet, it just said 10 colon 00. zero. But in my Word document, it also has the seconds, and it's decided to say AM. And in my currency field, has not got the currency symbol. I might plan to put two decimals in as well, which weren't actually on the spreadsheet there. But I can make it happen in my Word document. But the main focal point there is that the, the symbol, the correct symbol, did not come across. It's just come across a, a normal number. So let's look at formatting these. And to do this, we're going to need to look at putting some switches in the field code. So let's have a look at this date field. It's not as bad as it sounds that. First of all, I'll click on the date field, the one I'm in question. And I'm going to hold down my shift key on the keyboard and press F9. So okay, shift F9 together. Or right mouse click on the field and choose to toggle field codes. Either of them approaches will show you the field code for that mail merge field. So we can see here we've got mail merge field date. And after the word date, I'm going to put a backslash and follow it with a at sign and then a space. And then in these double inverted quotes, let me zoom this document in a little bit maybe. Here we go. Try and show off what we're doing a little bit more. We're going to type in the format we want. So for me to put it back to the UK format, I could put dd slash mm slash yyy. Why? <laughs> Closing speech marks. And to test that out, I'll press my shift F9 again to toggle back to normal and I'm going to press the F9 key on its own or right click update field to update the field and immediately there it's now the 17th of November so let's see another example of that let me, let me do my shift F9 I'm back into the field code and let's see what else we could do I could put four D's at the start followed by a comma space dd let's get rid of that slash let's put four m's in m's have to be entered in uppercase 
because the lowercase m is minutes. And here we go. So what I'm trying to do here is display the day of the week, comma, the day of the month, the long name for the month, and then the year. Let's right click, toggle field codes, right click, update field, so I can mix up the shortcuts or the right clicking, however you feel comfortable. And there we have it. Now I've got Monday the 17th of November 2014. So you can find a list of these, these field codes online, or you can just dabble with it. You see, it's just me expressing myself through D's and M's and Y's to get the right format for ourselves. And it's a similar story with the time. Let's target the time next. So let's click on it and then toggle the field codes. And here we have a similar story. Merge field, start time. And after that, I'll put a slash, backslash, at symbol and in these kind of speech marks with these double inverted quotes put in the format I want which this time will be in the H's for hours a colon and a lowercase m for minutes so we need to remove the seconds from that result but also remove that am pm I can ignore them from it I could just put if I wanted am in there I can write this in at the end am slash pm and that would display that but I'm using this example that I don't let's see it in action shift f9 f9 to update and there it's removed I don't I no longer have seconds on the end of the time okay now the last one here is the currency so let's shift f9 that and for this one I'm going to put in my backslash again this time I'm going to put a hash in for this. And once again in speech marks, I'm going to write what I want. This time I want the pound sign followed by a zero dot zero zero. I'm going to keep my decimals. That's my idea. And uh, I want a pound sign. Close the speech marks. Shift F9. F9 to update. And it is in the format that we want looking good now let me just hold down shift f9 and show one last thing toggling the field codes of a numeric value as I say you can find out loads more examples and get a, a list of these symbols uh, if you search online if it's of interest to you but let me show one more that you might be familiar with from doing in excel but after the value i could put a semicolon and then I can put what I'd like it to look like if it was a negative value. So that's how I want it to look like as a positive to the left of the semicolon, now as a negative. And I might decide to put it in brackets. So this is just an example to indicate what is possible. And then I will shift F9 to toggle out and F9 to update and it won't look any different because I don't have a negative value in this. Let me maybe alt and tab into my Excel spreadsheet and see it in action. It's going to look a bit silly here because you know these are not uh, th these wouldn't be negative values. But let me just write minus thirty as an example uh, for Jeff Stellin here. I'll switch back to the Word document and I'll use these arrows to move through the recipients. And here I can see Jeff Stellin. 30 pound in brackets so that negative value that formatting has worked so this is just looking at how to format mail merge fields coming from excel common problems people experience when they do this especially with dates and times and making sure it's in the right format as a result in your mail merge document into your word document i hope you find this video useful if so Please leave a comment. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergargar.com.